Thank you so much to the official channel sponsor, the Wealth Masters Club, for helping ordinary people make money through property investments in specialized trusts. Click the link in the description to find out more. Ladies and gentlemen, let's prop in. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of This Prop In. If this is your first time here, I go by the name of Spear Spear. What we do on this channel is that we explore and showcase some of the most beautiful homes in and around South Africa. Today we are at the Eye of Africa residential estate in the southern part of Johannesburg, looking at a five bedroom stunning home. Before we get into it though, massive shout out to Taylor Davidson for giving us this amazing opportunity to look at his listing. I'll put his details down below and also the listing details as well. As always, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead, subscribe, click that like button, helps us, helps the channel reach more people. So behind me, you can see this modern architecture, very stunning. I'm excited to share this home with you guys. This is, this home is about 600 square meters of internal space. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Let's prop in. Starting the tour on the outside and just looking at the external facade for a minute. Lovely modern architecture. I love this concrete finish that they achieved here on the, my left hand side. It's, it's beautiful, it gives you that raw natural feel. And to my right, you get this wooden timber, dark wooden timber cladding. This timber, this dark timber is actually consistent throughout the whole house. They use this, this dark timber throughout. I love this also, this darker, you saw the, the plaster, the darker plaster finish that they have here. And throughout the house, you will see that there's, there's some um, steel structural members such as this beam to my left and these columns in front of me. Three car garage and in front there, you actually have such a beautiful view of your cars, which I'm sure we will show you guys with the sort of B-roll. So approaching the entrance of the door before you go into it, two water features to each side of you as you walk in. Lovely full height sort of fixed windows with this aluminium framing. Gives you the whole view of the home and you can see straight through the house to the backyard where we're going to right now. So as you enter a large pivot door and you enter here, op opulence epitomized you're seeing this with the sort of like the marble, the white marble tiling with this golden vein that runs throughout the flooring. Following me here and coming down the staircase, firstly, I want to point out the stunning detail, these fireplaces which you have throughout the home. Beautiful piece, it's sort of like, uh, it's floating in the air. We've never seen anything like this on the channel, so it's very cool. Following me this side, this is like the formal dining room area which flows perfectly, open plan concept, flows perfectly in, onto this modern, beautiful kitchen. Smooth, seamless countertops and cabinetry. That's something I can say about this kitchen. Large countertop space, you even have sort of a mitered connection here. We love that. If you watched sort of the previous videos, you know we love that. I love that you have sort of a separate uh, island space for maybe breakfast in the morning, breakfast island. Large um, sort of fridge space and well integrated microwave and oven whirlpool seamless and I love this this gloss finish this sort of champagne colored gloss finish to this cabinetry abundant amount of storage throughout the kitchen you'll never really complain about anything there's even cabinetry space uh, below here below the sink and this side you have this open shelving concept with this gloss finish to it Window opening, bring uh, abundant amount of natural lighting. And behind you guys, I didn't mention you have an overhead extractor. When you're cooking here, here's a four plate uh, gas, gas stove and also an electrical stove next to it. Stunning. As you guys follow me this side, and I love the way it just sort of seamlessly 
flows onto the lounge area where you have this stunning, beautiful arrangement and console area with the TV in between, very large TV. And yeah, we were just catching up on the latest episode of Let's Prop In. Um, but beautiful size, massive amount of um, space here to do anything that you really want. Above us, you see this beautiful arrangement of this suspended ceiling with playing, playing with levels a bit that, that makes the space so much more interesting, which I really love. And you have the, these recessed lightings throughout giving you that dramatic feel to the space. So following me, this side, to my right, this is the only bedroom on this floor. This counts as sort of like the guest bedroom. As soon as you walk inside, cabin tree space with this mirror uh, infill here, stunning for when you're wanting to pick out your outfit and look at what you have put together. Floor finishes co continue throughout the house, this sort of like marble stunning finish to this tiling, very large tiles if I may put it that way. Large window behind you guys and then a detail which I really love about this home is that on the bulkheads you actually have this LED lighting throughout increasing like that, that ambience to the, to the whole home. Following me to this side, stunning bathroom, large bathroom actually and beautiful detail which all of these bathrooms in this home have is this smart um, smart mirror where you, when you press it, lights up, opulence epitomized. Floating vanity, water closet, and the, actually the floor tiling, this, this marble tiling continues throughout the walling, which is so stunning. I, I love this, I love this bathroom, large shower head, everything you need. Coming back to this side towards you guys, you have the powder room that beautiful stunning finishes, similar to the bathroom that we just saw now. Main difference here is that you have this circular smart uh, mirror, very cool. If you want to switch it on, you press the button, it has sort of like this very cool illusion of like infinite amounts of circles going in, which is very, very cool. So coming back towards you guys to my right, stunning, stunning doors. I love this timber finish to these doors. You have these matte black yell um, handles on all of the doors. Beautiful, I love this uh, study area because it overlooks the sort of the front yard entertainment pool side. And in terms of size, a lot of, lots of amounts of um, room in this study to put lots of um, tables, monitors, that type of stuff, everything you really need. And the, the sort of the infinity pool and front side or back side of the house is actually my favorite part and we'll, we'll end the tour with that part if you stick if you stick around long enough, you'll be you'll see what we have in store. So coming back to this side where we where we saw this beautiful sort of TV lounge area. To my left, you have this koi pond here, very cool. You have a couple actually, a couple of koi's here swimming around, very cool. Coming back inside, fully kitted out bar area. You have your open shelving here. I love the sort of the contrast in finishes you have this more lighter timber look and this gray finish it sits it it, it it fits well with each other lovely countertop space here i love this sort of bar arrangement and also these this type of installation very beautiful flooring this size still on an open concept type of um plane sort of a tv room area here different secondary to that one that we just saw and a, a little bit of a dining room area here and didn't show you guys that, but opposite the room there, you also have sort of a powder room there in case you don't want to go all the way that side. Outside here is the, the braai area here, sunken seating bonfire place, which we'll show you guys at the end. Stick around, trust me, you don't want to miss it out. That was amazing for the first floor. What we're going to see next is the top floor where that's majority of the bedrooms. Let's go. So as I come up to the landing of the second floor, before we get into that, just a couple of details I want to point out to you guys. As, as you see, this whole space here is stunning. Double volume, and as you look at the ceiling, you have these suspended light fixtures, very beautiful. It has the, this sort of silver type of material wrapping the, bowl, the, the bulbs. Very beautiful. Um, it increases sort of the opulence to space. And as we come up the, sta the staircase, you'll see that there's, light, there's lighting fixtures 
or lighting pieces in between the staircase, lighting up the way. I'm sure at night it looks stunning. It lights up the way as you go up and on the sides you have this sort of tinted glass um, surrounding the, the staircase. And as we come here to the landing, second or third, is that the third TV sort of lounge area? And throughout the whole house, you have a central aircon system, surround sound, everything you really need. So starting this side, in this first bedroom here, first you have this full length timber frame, so same floor finish throughout this whole floor. Um, I guess it changes in some of the rooms, but I'll point that out to you. Aircon in this room and the bulk kit also has this LED lighting strip. And unique thing about these rooms that is that it's um, it's open plan and it flows sort of into the bathroom partially, where you have this the standalone tub here. The shower is back there behind that glass door, and you have the water closet here. A very unique sort of concept and very unique um, composition to this to this bedroom, you have your floating vanity there. Mirror, this mirror is also one of those mirrors, those smart mirrors that you can light up very cool. And I love this backsplash finish here. It's almost like a glossy, it almost looks like it has like an, uh, an extra layer of glass on it. Very beautiful. Coming back towards you guys and behind you, you have this large sliding door that opens up Onto, onto a balcony which overlooks sort of the, the motor court where we saw in the beginning. TV, floating console arrangement here, stunning. And as I come towards you guys, behind you guys, you have sort of this passage, beautiful sort of warm tone colored skirting throughout the home. It's similar to the sort of the, the framing of these doors and the actual door. So as we come this side, similar type of room in terms of size and comp composition, where you have this, this bathtub here openly, shower, and also what I didn't point out the, the cabinetry space with the previous bedroom, but the previous bedroom also has this type of setup in terms of the cabinetry. Water closet behind that door, everything you need. And I love sort of the finish, the tile finish, sort of like a pentagon or octagon uh, tiling on the floor. Very beautiful. And as we come this side, I really find this very stunning. It flows perfectly and seamlessly onto the balcony. Just if you guys may follow me around here, this balcony overlooks sort of this, this, this fenced off natural uh, game reserve. Um, I mean, some days you'd even see sort of animals, impalas running around there, very cool. But the fact that that's a natural um, game reserve means that for a couple of years no one's actually going to be building that site so it gives you that peace of mind and if you listen out here it's very tranquil very peaceful um, on even on a day like this soft furniture around here and this so balcony extends and wraps around that side where we're going to look at the main bedroom in a moment but i love this architecture and this use here of openings it introduces so much more details to the space and I just love that the opening and you have these beams connecting um, with the, 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 this side of the building com connecting the other side of the building. Very stunning. And these doors, these stacked doors open up that you, have, that you have this access to the TV lounge that we just saw. And if you guys may come this side, actually, this view is insane. From this side, you can see the whole way through to the other side of the house where you have a view of the golf course. This is the 18th hole. So this is, is known as the, the, popular, the popular hole, the last hole of the golf course. So you do have sort of a special spot with this home. So coming in back into the house, flowing into the TV room and going to my right to the other side of the, sort of the house. Before we get there, you have sort of a kitchenette area here. I love these sort of functional spaces in houses where you have sort of a kitchenette you don't have to go down all the way to the kitchen just to maybe make yourself a cup of coffee um, to use that microwave it's all there main bedroom here but before we go into it just to show you guys this side this is the third bedroom in on this floor similar to the previous two bedrooms that we saw maybe slightly smaller and has a different 
different view to the other ones and you have sort of your Juliet, not a Juliet, but sort of a, a private balcony here overlooking the, the Eye of Africa estate. Very stunning, you even have sort of like mountain and hill views. This is incredible. Um, yeah, similar finishes as the, the previous bedroom. And as we come to the side, you have uh, storage space, linen space here. And walking into this room here, this is the gym. Very beautiful, overlooking also the golf course. Aircon system here. And I love this large window that you have here overlooking your driveway. And these views are, are insane to die for because you even have the golf course there. The, the nice thing about uh, the, this house being located here is that it's a walking distance to a lot of them. The amenities that they have in this estate, you have the clubhouse there, tennis courts, a lot more to offer. Um, Ergo machine here, this, I've said it before, this is probably the worst, the, the toughest machine, let me say that, the toughest machines in the gym. So coming this side, these sliding doors open up beautifully and it flows onto this balcony we have the seating space where you can even have sort of an, uh, an alfresco dining experience right here. So coming back into the house, and I love that the, the floor finish is still consistent in the gym. So coming back into the house and entering the main bedroom, double leaf door, timber, timber door, and to my left, this is the walk-in closet, very large, very large, and lots of amount of sort of open shelving, cabinetry space, you'll never ever have to complain with this amount of storage. And here you have the center console for your watches, your, your jewelry, very stunning. And, and above us here you have this opening with this horizontal window slit which opens up but also gives you that um, natural lighting inflow into this room, pouring into the room. Beautiful arrangement here, you have this floating vanity, dark black floating vanity, double geo sinks and these matte black uh, tap fixtures and mixers. Above us you have these interesting light fixtures that are very unique, haven't seen it in any of the houses that we've seen. Also with this mirror, it's one of those smart mirrors that come uh, switch on and off. This side here you get this large walk-in shower, um, very beautiful sort of floor finish to the to the shower floor, seating, very stunning. I love, I love when um, sort of bathroom has, in terms of like the fixtures, I love it when it has that sort of this matte black finish to it and tinted, um, tinted door to the shower. Very stunning, you even have your, your matte black towel rail here. Very beautiful and behind you guys, in front of me, you have the standalone tub which Having a bath here is very beautiful because even from here and, and at this low angle, you can see sort of the hills and sort of the, nat and the nature. Um, very beautiful and the sun is setting, almost setting now. So this is, this is a moment. Here you have a water closet, matte black also. It's, uh, it's risen up from the ground, so it's, it gives you that floating feel. And it is soft clothes, I'm not gonna show you guys, but it is soft clothes. <laughs> going back to the main bedroom area, Behind you guys, or before we get there, to my right you have these window, these fixed window openings, brings in a lot of natural lighting to this room. But this room is so large that it has its own sort of private sort of pajama, lounge, TV area. I love the backsplash to the TV. It's also that light sort of timber, laminated timber um, wall mounting. Above us, the, the bulkhead also has the, the LED lighting and just an interesting sort of industrial light fixture that we have here. Surround sound also throughout this room. To my right you have this beautiful study desk um, area. If you don't want to go back downstairs to the study, you have your own setup here. Couch to my right and you have your whole bed set up here. And with this view, having your bed here is just, it's perfect. Because it flows perfectly onto this balcony. We have furniture here, but looking at this, this is stunning. This, the, the amount of peace and harmony that this space gives off, um, it's, it's, it's quite rare to find in Johannesburg, but more common in, in these parts of uh, Johannesburg, the southern parts. I love also that the balustrades, the see-through balustrades, gives you that endless feel of space and endless feel of view. So that was it 
for the second floor. Very stunning finishes, high quality floor finishes continue throughout this sort of white um, marble tile throughout Re really love that and that was it for this floor next we're gonna go to the outdoor areas just to see that infinity edge pool right coming out to the outdoor sort of backyard area beautiful this is this is very prime for having people over sort of entertaining guests if you like entertaining guests uh, but uh, before we get into sort of like the backyard part beautiful if you look at sort of like the, the external envelope of the building beautiful this matte black finish with also the, the the black frames aluminium frames throughout full height ceiling which allows you to sort of have that light pour in natural lighting pour in into the interior of the building as i've said about like sort of the the, the steel members throughout giving you a little bit of the industrial feel to the to the home as we come this side you have a pergola type of system here or pergola type of arrangement above us and here you have the sunken sort of bonfire seating place where you can have this gas this gas fireplace lit lit up at night and you have people gathering around here sharing stories you know how it goes bry area here gas bry seating spot here and i love also that the space is sort of um, closed off here that it's uh, you can't really fall off on the other side here just very functional in that sense as we come back this side and towards the the pool this is a beautiful pool very large and it's separate you have a separate sort of jacuzzi pool that side or jacuzzi area that side but very stunning pool here which has this um, infinity edge waterfall feature throughout the other side very beautiful so coming this side um, beautiful beautiful arrangement here obviously you have the pool here but it's separated you have the jacuzzi here with the jets I mean com coming out here on a sort of like a more more chilly late evening could be perfect but a stunning outdoor area and I think the thing I like about it is that there's so much space that you can do anything really with it Thank you so much for making it this far into the video and if you did enjoy it give us a thumbs up it really does help the channel reach more people very stunning home i really enjoyed that tour i really enjoyed sort of like that marble floor finish and also the, the external facade of the building with that matte black finish i really love that that before we get out of here massive shout out to taylor davison for giving us this amazing opportunity to look at his listing i'll put the listing details down below and also his details down below and as always from myself and Neo Atlas Prop in. See you soon.